Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. So as Canada stopped its battery factory to make batteries for EVs and slowed down the transition into new energy vehicles, just like in America, Ford and GM are slowing down. Uh, but why is that? Well, there are more than one reasons. One, the ban on importing uh, Chinese materials, materials from China to make these batteries and other technologies has caused the price to skyrocket here in America uh, due to the current administration policy. And also the tariffs is blocking the Chinese EVs from coming in so because of lack of competition, there's no incentive for the ICE vehicles to stop and for the companies here in America and in Canada to stop making these gas guzzlers that are destroying our environment. While all this is happening here in the West, uh, <laughs> the Chinese sentiment is changing. The young Chinese sentiment is changing as to what type of products they want. Take a look, guys. This may look just like your regular American fast food restaurant. With a meal that comes with a burger, fries, and a drink. But if you look closely, the rapper proudly declares that this burger has been made in China. I'm sitting in Tastian's. It's China's answer to McDonald's. And as you can see it, you have all this language here, made in China, a Chinese burger for a Chinese stomach. And uh, you can see that they've just got all sorts of Chinese imagery around a little bit of uh, McDonald's transported to uh, Imperial era China. And Tastian is just one example of a Chinese brand squeezing out US rivals. China once presented a huge opportunity for American brands, but now local challenges are eating their lunch and that threatens the dominance they have held for decades. China is the world's second largest consumer market. The country's more than 1 billion shoppers were once seen as an untapped gold mine for Western brands. This is Beijing's premier shopping district, and you don't have to look far to see which companies have taken center stage. There's American brands all around me. Over here, we got Ralph Lauren, Tom Ford, and right behind me is perhaps the best known of all of the brands, Apple. In the first quarter of 2024, Apple saw its smartphone sales fall 19%, while that of its Chinese rival, Huawei Technologies, saw its sales rise 70%. For China, Apple saw its revenue fall by 8% to $16.4 billion. And Apple isn't the only American company that's been struggling a little bit more in China lately. From luxury cosmetics firm Estee Lauder, which is expecting sales in China to fall, to retail giant Walmart, which has closed more than 100 stores nationwide over the past five years. Executives of some of America's biggest brand names in China are increasingly worried about their weak performance in the country. Local brands are expanding so rapidly in China. Any um, CEO who is worried about his performance, his profits, is going to be affected by them. We have seen stock prices fall, Nike stock prices fall, for example, on the back of kind of weakening performance in China. China. China once represented almost a fifth of Nike's global sales. Nike has long dominated China's sportswear market, but that's changing. Younger Chinese consumers are increasingly gravitating towards brands that incorporate elements of traditional Chinese culture and style. And it's allowed brands like Anta, right over there, to make inroads in a market that long has been dominated by Nike and other Western brands. Chinese consumers are trying new brands like Anta on for size. And in many cases, they aren't going back. As the sponsor of the Chinese Olympic team, Anta has found a place among Chinese shoppers as a brand that matches growing nationalist sentiment. Anta supports the new generation of Chinese Olympic athletes. It was very much linked to very big and bold expressions of Chinese pride. So think about your large logos, red and yellow color combinations. It's resonating especially with younger consumers today because 
that they don't have the same level of adoration for the West as the past generations. It's not about, you know, blind kind of, I'll buy something from the West just by virtue of it being from the West. American brands have reaped huge profits by capitalizing on changing Chinese consumer tastes. Starbucks largely created China's new coffee culture in a country long dominated by tea drinkers. But that supremacy is now under threat. At the end of 2023, Luckin Coffee surpassed Starbucks as China's biggest coffee chain by sales and units. Analysts credit Luckin's success to its operating model, which requires minimal staff to run their branches. Luckin prices its coffee at a... Hi guys, welcome back. So when you invest into a company uh, or into companies, you must do your own due diligence and research and to basically phase out the gray noise in the background. Like I said it before here in the West, the media continuously lies and spread propaganda about why China is uninvestable. China's economy is going down, they say. <laughs> but yet they grew their economy coming out of COVID, uh, five per six percent in the first quarter of 2024 this year, and is already growing it by another five percent in the second quarter. Whilst here in America, we owe over 35 trillion dollars now in debt. So. <clears throat> While this is happening, we see the young Chinese sentiment changing. A lot of it is because they're waking up and seeing and understanding that the Western brands is not superior anymore. But also they're building national pride, something that is lacking greatly here in the West. I remember wearing a, a polo with the American flag with the whole and I've worn it here before in one of my videos and I wore it to one of my jobs and they were trying to make fun of me because of it. This is how bad it has become here where we are taught to be ashamed of being an American, whereas other countries, they are proud of who they are and of their nationality. And this is one of the main things that is harming us here now in America. You know, I was called, oh, you look Captain America. And I said to the guy, I said, well, this country has given me more than my old country. I gotten the opportunity to invest and increase my wealth. <clears throat> now I have rental properties, X amount in stocks, and then they all got quiet. It was a group of them because, and then he said to me, well, we got a one way ticket. I said, no, you can actually go now and get a passport and leave if you don't like it. So a lot of it has to do with national pride, just like when in, with India now with Modi, who is building national pride. And you'll see the Indian econ economy starting to grow because of that. You see less of a brain drain where a lot of Indians would leave and go to Silicon Valley and work in NASA, um, et cetera, et cetera. And now Modi is trying to build that national pride where there's not a brain drain and they're staying at home. But anyway, what has Neo done yet again? Sorry for going off in that rant, guys. But electric vehicle maker Neo launched Wednesday a major upgrade to its operating system. OS in China named Banyan 3.0.0. And again, like we saw, like what I was talking about, the young Chinese are now realizing that their own brands are starting to wake up, the younger generation, especially with the way their um, athletes were treated in the Olympics. But as you see, Olympic um, Chinese brands are now supporting their Olympic athletes and that is bringing a lot of awareness, just like with Lockin Coffee, et cetera, et cetera. So the OS brings five major upgrades to all the second generation NEO vehicles in China. So NEO said they were, they were gonna release this and now they have. While there are over 130 new features that come with this upgrade, NEO splits into five major areas, but there's 130 upgrades. So. Neo splits into five major areas, the in-car voice assistant Nomi, digital cockpit AI intelligent chassis, artificial intelligence, right? Nomi is not just a talking fun robot, it's artificial intelligence that is a learning robot, constantly learning. Connectivity and user experience. With this new upgrade, the Banyan operating system users get support for WeChat, 
mini programs allowing them to access apps on the vehicle infotainment screen. Vanyan is Neo's operating system for their vehicles from the NT 2.0 platform on which the Sedans ET7 unveiled in the early 2021. Yes, we have been leading the race for a long time, guys. The ET5 are based on additionally the new versions of the sport utility vehicles ES6, ES7, ESA together with the Coupe SU7, EC6 and EC7 are also using the second generation platform. And you know, I want to address something a lot of times like when I post my videos on Facebook and stuff like that. <clears throat> Facebook on my personal Facebook page, it says uh, some you this video cannot be viewed because some users find the content to be offensive. So on Facebook, you can find borderline pornography now, children doing lewd dances, that's okay. But when it's a neo video, it's not okay. Even on TikTok, when I upload a neo video and my channel there is Wealthy Mindset 90 guys, I encourage you all to follow me on there as well, just to bring more awareness to neo, it's Wealthy Mindset 90. But on TikTok, you can put hashtag to the video that you're promoting. And when I put hashtag Neo, it will not accept it, but it will accept anything else. But anyway, Neo claims that new AI features are also improving the park assistant feature and smart playlist generation for optimum user experience. Previously, Neo made use of its 4D comfort navigation system but with this upgrade, users get the new 4D all domain comfort navigation, which will be available on all models, all models that have the continuous damping control. The in-car voice assistant Nomi also gets major upgrades, excuse me guys, to improve its usability and functionality according to the EV maker. Now, I don't think this, uh, and I could be wrong if I'm wrong guys, put it in the comment section. I don't think this upgrade is coming to um, Onvo, but I might be wrong. If I am, please correct me. I think this will be for our premium brands. And speaking of Onvo, <laughs> I hope you guys are getting excited that the launch is coming. I hope you guys are getting excited that we're getting, in, getting ready to enter Italy, France, and Spain. I hope you guys are getting excited that the ET9 with the guard chip, the complete driverless technology is coming out in the first quarter of next year. I hope you guys are excited. We're getting ready to enter Abu Dhabi soon and the amount of energy that we'll be selling back to the grid in these countries. So I hope you guys found this video yet again to be informational, inspirational and motivational. If so guys, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. It takes a lot of time to do these videos. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we are waking up the middle class for the first time to get into it at ground zero and to increase our wealth tenfold or more. If so, guys, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.